American blues music. Who are some of your favorites? B.B. King, maybe Etta James? Well, here in Oregon, you just gotta add Lloyd Jones to that list. He learned to play the blues from legends, but earned the blues from living it. Without you, I got no song to sing. Lloyd Jones has been chasing away the blues for a long, long time. What I call the blues is being moved. Anytime you sing or play something that uh, moves you, that, that means something to you, you're digging down into the blues. When you need to change your spirit, you need to change your frame of mind. People say, oh, that blues is depressing. Oh, no, no, the, it's music to bring you out of that. It, it is my job, it's my living and everything, but it's more than that, it's who I am. I can't, it's not like I'm going to retire and then stop doing this. I don't think that would not only not be possible, it wouldn't be very fun. I'll start out the morning with the guitar before my mind has got all that reality in it and just let ideas fly around and, and play around until I get interrupted by the phone or something. You know, late last night, everything was still. And you know, he's down on a hill. Over the years, Lloyd has played just about every juke joint, blues bar, and honky tonk there is. Oh, I tried my best to do my father's will. Dwayne, Missy, Cray. <laughs> and he's made a lot of friends along the way. Bonnie Raitt, <laughs> Charlie Musselwhite, B.B. King. It goes on and on, big time stars and local legends. Paul Blay, my longest time buddy, and I miss him forever. Jim Meesey, we all played together in that brown sugar. Brown sugar, that's where it all started. She said, talk to me, baby. Yeah, talk to me, baby. Say, now talk to me, baby. Say, talk to me, baby. Just for telephone. During the early 70s, Brown Sugar was at the center of Oregon's blues music scene. The whole world was brand new, everything was brand new. And what we look back now, there wasn't a care in the world. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I'll keep it in groove and let the good times roll. We're gonna stay here till we suit us all. If it takes all night long. People 
got together and had music fun. You know, you're young and you got this power machine that's flying. Um, so that was a very good start <laughs> to things. And it was a time where things bl blossomed really well for us for the next four, five, six years. That joy for making music has sustained Lloyd through the decades. I played the very first Waterfront Blues Festival 25 years ago. I've done this 25 times. It's always fun, always. So yeah, it's my hometown. <laughs> Since the 80s, Lloyd has fronted his own band, the Lloyd Jones Struggle. The band of my own that I finally started the, the struggle was an experiment for songwriting because you don't know if you're nuts until you hear it back. <laughs> Is fooling around. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. I got to go to the the nightclub. Well, this evening it's Monday, so that means it's Blue Monday party at the Muddy Rudder. Time to make the donuts. I love the place. Every Monday, 7:30. All right, gotta hit the road. Gotta hit the highway. I'm going this way, I think. Blues falling down sometimes just like hell. What's it like to go from one minute, you've got this giant arena of people, and then the next night, there's four people they've never heard of you, they're talking over it. And if you do that enough, you don't take yourself so serious because that's just life, you know? Just give it a ram to feel it, yeah. Now on the Monday night, it's real traditional stuff. Piedmont picking, um, you'll get Mississippi John Hurt and Elizabeth Cotton, the kind of thing I do at home to relax. So I gotta keep moving. But all that thing right there. So you've got to take your time and use that open string. You say, now wait for it, you know. And just, just learning to take your time and, and say what's on your mind, <laughs> you know. Have you told the lady fellas to say hello? Have you said it out loud, baby? Have you said I love you? Whether Lloyd-Jones is playing for a handful of people on a Monday night, or a couple thousand people at the Blues Fest, he's building on and paying respect to an American music tradition that started a long time ago. Thank you, man.